Hi everyone, welcome to my next adventure in building American Flyer trains. Uh, something I thought I had given up, but I'm very happy to be back to it, starting to gather equipment and build another layout. And this is the story of where I've come so far, really just this year. We're going to start with just the first time I assembled some pieces and was able to just put them on a floor and have something. Shortly after that, I put several tables I had together and started building something a bit more serious. You see several iterations here. You see where I was able to extend the layout. Um, now I've added another board, was able to extend it a bit more. Then I started working on improving how the old American Flyer track matches up to the new American Flyer track that I have. I use cardboard underneath and you see I also use the inside of cardboard boxes as a cover to get more like uh, looking like uh, ballast and um, even started working on one of my American Flyer switches and the the ties are actually balsa wood that's been cut and blackened the ties on the switch need to be shallower so they're actually cut paper and pasted on there after being colored. You see some views of the layout as it expands and it changed and then we get into how it is today with the cars I have on it at the moment. And a view of the layout as I've got it you see I have a few bits of extra track that so far aren't in use. I've really got everything on there that I can do with it right now. When I have locomotives, we can do some nice things with this. Of course, going to want to uh, finish in the track as I've been working on, uh, maybe make the tables a bit more consistent in appearance, and even starting adding some buildings. Still need to get some locomotives. We don't have that yet. And you see here that I've done even more on the track than you saw in some of the earlier images. Again, it's just cardboard here. I'll still need to fill in with the the surface and the ties. You're going to see coming up where I've actually started using the inside of paper egg cartons which give texture that looks a lot more like actual ballast. That's the section right there on the left that's gray. I've got to make some more ties to fill that in and you see I'm actually getting uh, around the layout and getting more done. Still some more work to do. All of this is something that can still be taken apart because I do anticipate uh, significant change down the road. Nothing is going to be permanent for a bit. There's an example of a bit of the egg carton and one of the loose ties just to show you how this can work. Again a feel for the transition of how it changes uh, from the new track to the old track with my modifications to it. Someday I'll put actual ballast on here when I've got a permanent table and I know everything is going to stick. You see I haven't finished putting all the ties on the turnout. Still got some more to do there and I've got to make sure that it'll continue to function properly. Now here's a couple bigger views of the overall layout as it stands today. And this is one piece I picked up, an actual envelope for a connection to attach power to the tracks original Gilbert envelope. Just finding these is pretty special anymore. As the years gone by, the packaging has disappeared more than the actual American Flyer cars and track and buildings. Here is the actual track clip in place with the wheels running over to the one transformer I have. The only job that has right now is actually to turn on the lights in the uh, 15th anniversary Polar Express passenger. I have a few spare parts I've acquired over the last month or so. These are a couple of the old original link coupler trucks. I've actually put another one to use which you're going to see coming up here. Uh, I've got one hopper car which transitions coupler to link a car that's all link coupler and then at the back of this Boston main coming up is a truck I I have put on there one of the spare link coupler trucks I had that car is actually one of the newer pipe master American fire cars with the original truck and coupler showing there on the front 
couple to a Pike Master Monon car, which is special because I worked for the Monon Railroad right at the end of its years. And that's connected to a Bethlehem Steel, which has the newer American Flyer working link couplers. And it is attached to a 15th anniversary Lionel built Polar Express passenger car. And you hear the transformer humming, and you can see the lights on. And that's what I've got so far. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Stay tuned for more.